tonight we've got a non-conference matchup. Just because it's a non-conference matchup doesn't mean there's not a lot on the line. Mr. Nestler, I assure you, the selection committee pays close attention to And these with games. that, my brothers, we are back in here for some college hoops. Man, I'm going to tell you, man, as a college uh, person that's been around college hoops for a long time, I kind of miss college hoops. I kind of miss being at the games. But the last couple of years haven't been able to be at games anyway. So it is what it is. Let's get into some NCAA basketball 10 and see what the Kentucky Wildcats are doing with that ball inside in the lane missed by John Wall. Looking to get my post game going. So I'm looking to work on that jump hook with the right hand. Gets a kind bounce by DeMarcus Cousin. And we're off and running. Defense. I'm employing a 2-3 zone trapping on the wings. And look at this, man. It's turning into some offense in transition a uh, couple things i'm working on there's john wall with a brick i'm working on a couple of things i'm working on defense and i'm working on half court offense and mostly turning our offense our defense into offense as you can see there john wall missing two easy ones and we're giving up offensive rebounds that's another thing we need to work on keeping people off the board so passing out to dotson with a big miss and we're struggling from the field we got a 4-2 game but there's uh, DeMarcus Cousin with an easy block, and that's where we turn defense to offense. We get out and transition with John Wall. That's our biggest thing right there. Of course, we got to stop big men in the paint right here. We got a dribble drive in two, and we got an alley-oop. Reverse dunk in traffic on our home court. Come on, guys. Have a little bit more pride than that. John Wall missing an easy layup, and we're off and struggling, and we give up easy dunk on the opposite end. Middle Tennessee up eight to six, scoring eight unanswered, but uh, we get that settled by an easy jumper uh, right down there on the baseline. And uh, we're coming down the court. That was Eric Bledsoe. And here we are in transition again. Patrick Patterson finishing in the lane after a nice assist from the wing. There's our inside game. Pat Patterson once again inside two feet away from the basket jump hook. And there we go, committing the foul. Derrick Cousins, aggressive, trying to get a couple of blocks. 12 to 8, Kentucky back with the lead, passing out to John Wall, and he can fill up the bucket. He is a bucket. Western Kentucky, sorry, Western Tennessee, Middle Tennessee, whatever. <laughs> Middle Tennessee State, of course, calls a timeout after we come back. And look at that nice jump hook in the lane with that nice touch by DeMarcus Cousin, man. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, on the inbounds play, ripped. And then we're out in transition, turning defense to offense. Let's go. This is what we need to do. Last two minutes of the half here. Kentucky turning it up with the defensive pressure. Easy down the lane, middle of the lane, uh, cutting inside of that zone. That's how you got to do it, man. Penetrate and kick. Dotson coming off. Easy three-pointer. And it's, there's one thing we've been working on. Look at that jump hook. Oh, my goodness. Not even looking. Great jump hook. Uh, in the middle of the lane and what we have to do here is look for a quick there's the coach with the word right there shoot quick for a two for one looking to penetrate John Wall with the easy drive oh my goodness and they call the offensive foul no home cooking referee let's go less than 10 seconds ago to end the half John Wall puts up a three and misses but Pat Patterson gathers the rebound and DeMarcus Cousin gets the second offensive rebound but it doesn't look like the score counts I think it was after the buzzer, but uh, we go into half with a slight lead. But I'm going to tell you, man, depending on I mean, judging from the last couple of games, we definitely have made some improvements scoring inside the lane and getting out in transition. A couple of things that we need to work on is uh, we need to set the tempo. We need to keep what we're doing. Uh, we need to keep doing it. Here we are, open the possession of the second half, coming off baseline run, and we get an and one three-point play, looking for the four-point. Actually, that was a two. All right, foot on the line. I got ahead of myself. Two-point play, and we get fouled. Never foul a jump shooter, kids, if you're watching me. And we get the free throw, three-point play, three the hard way, giving up an offensive rebound inside by Middle Tennessee, and the lead is five. Of course, we can depend on John Wall on the perimeter, hitting some easy jumpers. Here we go. We get a steal, and we're out in transition. John Wall dips he do and gets fouled, but he misses. So we're going to go to the free throw for two points, and he misses the free throw. 
26 to 17 is the score. Easy in the lane. Another offensive rebound and a swat. Get that swat out of here. Demarcus Cousins swats it. And on the ensuing possession right here, John Wall steps back in an easy three point from the baseline corner. Here it is, another defensive rebound. We're looking to turn defense into offense. John Wall in the lane. I'm sorry, that is not John Long Wall. That is going to be Eric Bledsoe. Easy scoop into the lane after a block shot in the paint. Middle Tennessee scores again in the paint, and they're looking to do an easy drive. Whoever number 24 is, somebody needs to guard that guy. Come on, pick and roll. And the defense does not pick up the ball handler. Easy scoop by Dotson into the lane. Here we go right here. Middle Tennessee is getting some inside points, and they're only down 10. Uh, we got a trap at the top. And John Wall, I believe, easy scoop layup, turning defense into offense. I think I'm going to employ this 2-3 zone quite a bit more. I tried to press. I tried man-to-man, -man, and it obviously didn't work. Number 45 splitting the trap on the block. Easy dunk. And John Wall testing his, his his distance. See how long he can, see how far away he can, uh, his range, I should say. See how far away can he, he can hit. And right now, testing the defense. Oh, off the side of the backboard. And on the next play down, John Wall again, baseline drive. Not even a baseline drive. A kick out to the baseline, and he hits. We'll get the commentating right. Offense, uh, defensive rebound, pushing the ball in transition. Crossover, finishing on the opposite side, score. And we're going to start the bus. Start the bus. We're our 18 point lead, and another steal in the top of the 2 3 zone. Running the lane, John Wall finishing inside the lane, and that might do it. A minute and 43 seconds left. Down 20 is Middle Tennessee State, and they get the timeout. And the crowd is going insane here in Rupp Arena, as you can see. But listen, Middle Tennessee State put up a good fight here in the first couple of minutes, but it's not looking good for them towards the end here. All right, and the inbounds play, Middle Tennessee comes back. Elbow jumper, not too bad. Post move here. Patrick Patterson looking to drive. All right, turning to the inside, to the middle, and he gets a right-hand jump shot to fall from seven feet. Middle Tennessee is back in struggle zone, but they can dominate the boards. We got to dominate the boards, man. Can't give them second chance opportunities. We have a pick and roll by DeMarcus Cousin, and he slips the screen. Easy dump pass into the lane. Kentucky working on their transition. DeMarcus Cousin left-hand finish from the right-hand side of the floor. And Kentucky has a insurmountable lead here. 30 seconds to go. Kentucky maybe, possibly might be getting one shot, one more shot. John Wall challenges him and drives it right hand. As you can see, we definitely have improved our transition game. And it has started with the defensive end. And despite the fact that we are winning, Coach Greg Adams is not happy. As the clock wind down, Kentucky, the number 19th ranked team in the country, comes back and they get a W the second consecutive W to go three and one on the season at home feeling good middle Tennessee State put up a good fight but what we're gonna do man is we're gonna get down here for the next couple of games I'm loving this game so far because I'm a basketball fiend basketball been a part of my life for a long time so I'm glad I picked up this college hoop game and then we'll probably play some other games thanks for joining me here on the CGA channel Kentucky on a roll. Player of the game in this situation is who's the player of the game? John Wall, of course, 21 points and a couple of assists and a couple of steals and rebounds. He got after it. Let's continue UK Cats.